Well, hello everyone, this is the Vulcan Guy, and today I am going to be reacting to the Netherlands song for Eurovision 2023! We got Mia and Dion with the song Burning Daylight. Now, this might be one of my favorite names of songs in this year's Eurovision Burning Daylight sounds so artistic. It sounds, it just sounds like it's gonna be quality. I don't know. Are you guys getting the same vibes? I don't know. Obviously, these were some of the first internal acts that were announced for this year. The song is written by no one other than Duncan Lawrence, the winner of Eurovision 2019. So this is probably going to be good. I mean, I have high hopes for it. Uh, so let's go ahead and check it out. I really, really hope it's going to be quality. Uh, before I get into it, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to like and comment the video. And let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, uh, oh my God! It's already so artistic. I don't find any joy anymore. Okay, that's a beautiful voice. The same old cycle. I don't find any joy anymore from the same old cycle. Wow. Don't know what made me happy before. Oh, this is gorgeous. From all the zero. melody. The piano, did I go? her voice. Between falling and running, I've been trying to get on my feet in time. Ooh, I love that progression. Good at crying, always wanted to be the tough type. Always wanted to be the tough type. So wow, just human up, losing my that was nice. Oh. This screams Duncan Lawrence. These progressions, these melodies, this is like... This could be no one other than Duncan Lawrence. Wow. That was just the intro to the song and like, my mind is blown. I, this is beautiful, gorgeous. Her voice is... Oh my god. Wow. I'm, I'm sorry, I haven't even been paying attention to the music video a lot because like I'm just listening and my mind is blown. Ah, uh, the progression. Na, 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 na. Uh, and the lyrics are incredible. This is right off my volley. I could see a lot of your fans not loving this. But I love it. This is exactly my type of song. <laughs> oh, and like a big moment. I can already see the lights on stage going like, wow. <laughs> this is gorgeous. And it's powerful. Oh my god, they're giving so much. This is beautiful. Uh, the chemistry between them is just something else. Wow. Netherlands does it again. <laughs> Guys, I, I'm in love with this. I... Just like from first impressions, the melodies are absolutely gorgeous. Again, this screams Duncan Lawrence. There's so much of his personal signature in here. You can really, really hear it. And the way their voices mesh so well together. It's it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I am literally so excited to see how this is going to be staged because I think this has so much potential to just be absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, like, I have no idea how this is going to do in Eurovision. I could see this really flopping, and I could see this doing really well. And I think it's really going to come down to the staging. Is this going to be in my personal top 10 this year? Probably. <laughs> because this is straight up my valley. I, I'm in love with this. 
I can see it and I can see myself loving it more and more the more I listen to it because melodies like this become easily addictive to me. So yeah, <laughs> I am absolutely in love. This, is, it's gorgeous. <laughs> what do you guys think about the song? Please let me know down in the comments. Uh, do you like it as much as I do? Or do you maybe think this is a flop? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post so many reactions and I, uh, when all the songs are out, I have special content planned for you guys. So you, you're gonna want to see it. Subscribe to the channel. And last but not least, make sure to follow me on my Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram because I always, always appreciate that. What can you find there on Twitter? I tweet about Eurovision. So if you're into Eurovision, you want to go ahead and follow me on Twitter because that's what the Twitter is about. Uh, TikTok, just dumb things about what it's like being the bug guy and Instagram. Not gonna lie, Instagram is the hub of the gym selfies. So if you're into that, then go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.